I don't think it was ever described to us coming to the college, but end of year, especially for seniors, is a really weird time. I can remember sitting with friends of mine and just sort of not talking at all because none of us could like really say goodbye. It was a very emotional time at the end of the year. The main activities were um, breakout, and you have to keep in contact that during my freshman year, we still had visitation in the residence halls. So men had to be announced into the women's residence halls, which just freaked you out. Um, and we had to have signed permission slips from our parents before we got here that we could have females visit the dorms. So breakout was a tradition that harks back to when there was visitation, where the men on campus would come to the women's dorms and break them out and then charge down to Colonial Williamsburg, Williamsburg Inn for a big party at the Williamsburg Inn pool. And so it was incredibly well attended. No advertising really about it anyway. Everybody just knew it was going to happen. And all of a sudden, there's like a groundswell of people running across campus, screaming at all the women in the dorm to get out. <laughs> and then more and more and more as you went to Landrum and Chandler and Barrett and Jefferson and headed to the Williamsburg Inn. The blowout, I think, is just a derivative of breakout. Well, uh, that activity didn't last very long because there was a tragic death that occurred when a student jumped in and there were so many people in the pool, she couldn't get back, she couldn't come up to the surface again. She got trapped below the bodies in the water. And so that ended the tradition. Thank you. 
you will never see again as much as you consider them contacts and friends. So I was a student here in 1984 to 1988, and um, believe it or not, the last day of classes celebration pretty much involved ringing the REM bell. I have memories of my own time ringing the bell, which was very surreal because before the age of uh, internet and um, you know, being able to send photos via cell phone and things like that, it was very mysterious, the whole idea of what actually happens when you go to the ring building, where is the bell and how does that work? Um, and so um, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't rung the bell yet, but I sort of have this image in your mind of the Quasimodo moment where you're you know, sw jumping up and down and swinging on a giant <laughs> rope and pulling the bell. It's not quite that, uh, but it's still very meaningful. In 2006, we, which was a, the last day of classes that year, um, we had a bomb threat on campus. And so we had state police, FBI, SWAT teams, snipers on the roofs. Um, needless to say, it was a very tame last day of classes that year. Um, it was pretty frightening, um, but certainly memory making for sure. So that was one of our more unusual ones. Um, we also talked about, he reminded me of this, I didn't remember, but this was his, um, this was my friend Paul's senior year, 2007. The Queen, the Queen of England, was visiting campus on the last day of classes. So all the traditional activities of bell ringing and all of that um, was moved to Thursday instead of Friday because the Wren Building was the site of the Queen's visit. So there was a lot of preparation that was being done in advance of her visit. So um, that was another, another memorable last day of classes. The festivities really started um, around the time that the students started toasting buildings. And that was something that I, I think started in the late, mid to late 90s as something that students started to do. Um, and so we really wanted to make sure that the last day of classes remained celebrative but also safe. And so providing a lot of alcohol-free alternatives has been something that has grown over the last many years. So the festival in the Sunken Garden, um, the late night pancake supper that groups hold, tacos, um, just all of the activities that you know are, are part of that day have really come about to help make sure we stay celebrative but also stay safe on the last day of classes. A lot of my best memories, honestly, were very personal things. You know, lunches in the sunken garden with, with a friend, um, singing singing with the groups that I sang with. I used to sing in a church choir, a Bruton Parish Choir, and I had memories there. So a lot of our senior memories, I think, are very personal to us, which is as it should be. Mm -hmm. But the collective celebrations are always fun, and that's what that's what ties us from generation to generation. So when I think about the things that I can share with you all as current students, you know, I walked across campus too, and I rang the Ren Bell, and that's something that generations will do from here forward.